I think it looks good like that. And then we could always put another floral or two in there if we wanted to. Okay, I think we're gonna call it quits on that. Let's add some, um, oh my gosh, wait, look at this little tiny bud. <sighs> I have to use her. Do I dare? She should probably be over here because it's part of that floral. That's what I'm gonna do. She's too pretty to, nobody puts baby in the corner. <laughs> She's too pretty. I'm going to use my tweezers because she's a little small. I think. Ooh. She can come off of this stem right here. Boom. Boom. See how you completely design it and change the and complete orientation of everything and make it your own. That's so pretty. Okay, let's add some bling. Look at this pretty shine I have on this one. So on these, I use this these really cool faceted um, gems from Buttons Galore. And these are all clear um, and they come from a set like this one. So you get this whole little tray and all of these beautiful gems and each are in their own little bucket. So like the ones I used on that card are like these here. So you have all that goodness and this little jar is going to last so long. This is the neutral set, what they call neutral. I, how could you give something so gorgeous such a boring name? This should be like diamonds and pizzazz and sparkly goodness. <laughs> I guess that's too long of a name. Um, if, you if you like more color, there's actually a couple of different sets. Let me show you. This one is the Brights. Oh, beautiful for shaker cards too. I love that. And then actually the set I use the most often is this one. I probably use this more than any of the others. And they call it holiday, and I'm like, I don't get why. I mean, maybe just because they threw a red in there. But um, this one is probably the one I use the most. I thought I would use the neutrals the most, but actually it's this one. But anywho, they're all pretty. I'm curious what some of these black ones might look like on this card, on my black background. Like this one has kind of some purple and blue in it. Then we got one that's more purple and, and bronze. And then with this one has green and rainbow let's find out what that looks like on I mean oh my gosh those are stunning oh yeah look at they pick up the color I don't know if it's coming across on camera but they're facet cut so they every little side um hits the light it's so pretty I'm gonna put a few on there and we'll use that one. Oh, and that one that jumped out. Okay. I'm going to dump them on my white side of my board so I can find them all. Okay, there they are. So, if you have super teeny tiny um, uh, glue dots, that would work. I'm going to use liquid glue in the teeniest, tiniest amount. And I'm going to show you a trick. Take some scrap paper here. And I'm going to put a little bit of hit of this, a dollop of this glue that I know is strong. Holding, let me zoom in for you. Okay. So I got a dollop of this glue that I know is strong. Holding is going to work well for this. You could either use a pair of tweezers or I'm going to use one of my favorite tools, the quick stick. It has on this end, it has this green gummy stuff that helps you to pick up small little bits, but it's not, it's like a very low tech adhesive. So I just touched it to the top side. See how it's holding it for me? The top, the top side of the gem. And then I'm going, let me give you a real extreme close up here. <laughs> and then I'm going to just swoop it across the top of that adhesive. I have got adhesive on the back now, but this is already way too much adhesive. Can you see? that's going to be squirt everywhere so on the same scratch paper i'm just going to squish it along and now i have a very fine oh that is a good good job janine <laughs> that's a good amount of adhesive right there see how it's just a little swoosh and now i can put it place it wherever i want to on my card i like to look for any imperfections that i want to cover up before i start committing to where they're all going to go sometimes you just have to do smoke and mirrors you know Perfect. Okay, so let's just repeat that process, huh? So I'll pick one up with my low tack stuff. Dip it in the, 
I don't want to even say dip. I like barely skim the surface. I'm not dipping it. Squish off any excess and stick it where you want it. Okay, those were the big ones. Let's do a teeny tiny one. A teeny tiny one. Okay, I got her. <laughs> I'm going to skim the surface. And think of like how a dragonfly like skims over the surface of the of the shimmering waters. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, and then just repeat. Skim, swoosh off, stick. Okay, a little bit of my green gummy stuff stuck to the this stuff it comes off of occasionally once it's been used up, and then you just turn the dial. And a bit like not even a quarter turn because it takes a minute for the goo to come up and then you, then you get more goo by the way the quick stick tool is also double ended so you have this other end that pops out and so you have a chisel tip on one end and a pointed tip on the other that you can use for moving and manipulating things got a little glue where you don't want it. you can scooch it scooch it um this end is works good for your cuticles <laughs> i probably should mix and match um healthcare and, and crafting but <laughs> That's the quick stick. It's the quicker poker picker upper is what I like to call it. Okay, these all landed upside down. Come here. I turn them over first. There we go. Pick, skim, swoosh. You can always turn it over and double check that you have just this touch of adhesive. See the shine? And stick it where you want it. And that is how you can get just the teeniest amount of glue. And that one tiny drop you saw, I still have so much more adhesive on here that I can pick up and use. So it does not take much glue at all. If you try to if you try to put a dollop of glue, I'll do it, I'll sacrifice my card here. Even the tiniest drop like that, I'll show you compared to my fingernail, even the tiniest drop like that can still be too much and you can squish your stuff out. It is a way to do it, you can, but you just have to be super, super light-handed. The same technique that I'm doing for these gems you can do for sequins or any kind of little teeny embellishment that you might have. This tool would also come in handy for these little guys instead of tweezers. So um, this this is a super handy tool if you don't have one. Um, this, this end, this little chisel end has also been great for me for super detailed rub-ons and rub-ons are coming back y'all they are every release i'm seeing now is starting to have rub-ons in it again which i'm excited about i like them all right there is our bejeweled bedazzled gorgeous card i like the black gems with them with the, have the rainbow look at that so turn the light have the rainbow on the black that looks really stunning okay now that i'm done let me zap zap um zoom out again which one do we like the black one we did together or do we like the original craft? They're both pretty. They both have different vibes, don't they? Okay, thank you guys so much for joining me. Happy crafting, and I hope that you try die cutting soon. Thank you.